Hello, and thank you so much for joining today's live session at Beacon Hill. Today is a special uh, holiday edition that we will be hosting to talk about our holiday gala, which is every year. Uh, so as we have people hopping on, that will be great. And then I have two wonderful campus recruiters joining today to talk about their holiday gala experiences with me. So let me see here if I see uh, Ashley hopping in. Let's see here. Um, thank you for your patience. All right, looks like Hannah hopping in. Hi, Hannah. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thanks so much for hopping on. Of course. It's so festive of us. I love it. I know. We really hit the holiday spirit. <laughs> Let's see. What do you have on your uh, Christmas sweater? Isn't it? Full sequin Christmas tree. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. So fun. Let me Amazing. let uh, Ashley in here. Perfect. Um, hold on here, Hannah. Let's see. This happened last time with Ashley. Let's see. Or not with Ashley. When I try to let someone in. It's not letting me accept her. Um, well, thank you, everyone, for joining. So sorry about these uh, technical difficulties. We have Ashley joining or trying to join right now. Um, and it is not letting me accept it. Um, but we can at least get started. I'm going to introduce Hannah. Hannah is a wonderful lead corporate recruiter here at Beacon Hill. She's been with us almost five years. Come January, February, Hannah? Yeah, crazy. Crazy how time flies. And she is one of the top performers, has led by example her whole career, including the first ever campus recruiter to hit Rookie Club. And she has also won Top of the Hill and President's Club and been promoted a couple times. So she is a wonderful person that exemplifies, you know, the campus recruiting team and what success can lead. I'm going to try to let Ashley in here first, Hannah, um, if you yeah. want to talk a little bit about um, the holiday party. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, all her, our holiday party, I say, is like the Super Bowl of Beacon Hill. Um, it is the biggest event of the year. It is when we really get the opportunity. Oh, and there's Ash. All right. Yay! Yes. <laughs> We're in. Thank you. <laughs> um, oh, thank you, Hannah, for, for talking about it. <laughs> Sorry about that, Ash, but thank you for Don't waiting work. in the lobby there. Um, Hannah was just about to start talking about it, but first let me introduce Miss Ashley Feifenberger, uh, who's about to celebrate eight years, right? Crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, wild. Eight amazing years. She is also a wonderful contributor to the campus team. She actually starts with, started Beacon Hill with our associates division and did amazing there, hit rookie club, and then transitioned to the campus team. And what, that's been five years now? Six yeah. Years? Yeah. That's <gasps> crazy. And she is also someone that has hit Top of the Hill, President's Club, been promoted, um, and now manages the team herself. So thank you both for joining. Forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> My name is Haley Valdez. <laughs> I uh, manage the campus recruiting team and have been with Beacon Hill since 2017. So thank you, everyone, for joining. Ash, Fanna. This is probably my favorite Instagram live to do because we get to talk about the holiday gala. Uh, I'm also so excited to see you both next week. But for everyone joining, uh, what we're going to cover, I'm going to talk a little bit about what the holiday party is for those who might be attending next week or future Beacon Hillers that will attend in the future. We're also going to share our favorite holiday memories from Ashley, Hannah, and Maya's experiences, uh, a little bit about the history, uh, the awards that people win at the gala, and then um, some of the fun traditions. And then I've got some fun facts at the end. For those competitive people on this, which I know I've seen a few names who I know personally are very competitive, uh, we will have a little raffle at the end. And true Beacon Hill holiday spirit, you know, we actually have raffles at the holiday party. So today we'll be handing out two raffles for two winners. Um, so there'll be questions at the end. So pay attention. Feel free to jot down some of the facts and see if you win. So for those of you who are wondering what the holiday party is, I know Hannah was about to cover it when Ash hopped on, but... She calls it the Super Bowl. I also call it the Grammys of Beacon Hill. We get dolled up. Uh, we get to see everyone. I also feel famous because there's photographers everywhere. And our events team does an incredible job making this a moment to remember year after year. The, we do this every year, actually, in our headquarters in Boston, Massachusetts. So for a lot of Beacon Hillers, especially me being on the West Coast, it's so fun to go out and see headquarters, 
see the East Coast and you get a fun vacation that's fully paid for, where you get to see your amazing teammates and coworkers across the country. Even in COVID, our events team was incredible and found a way to put on this massive production virtually for two years in a row. So hats off to the events team. Um, was they gave away tons of prizes virtually. I was actually lucky enough to be a winner of an iPhone, which I'm using right now for this live. So <laughs> shout out to them. Thanks for the iPhone. Um, and they just did a wonderful job, but it is really exciting to know we're going to be in person next week. We have a lot of people who've joined Beacon Hill the last couple of years who have not met coworkers or have not attended the holiday gala. So this will be so fun to all be together. Um, it's a way we celebrate top producers, top teams, a way to network with each other, recognize achievements, and really reflect on the incredible year that we've had. So, you know, we also, you know, Beacon Hill Spirit love to give away Dom. Um, so Dom threw on the champagne. We take photos with them um, and really celebrate each other for what we've accomplished the past year. My favorite part of it, too, is that you get to bring a plus one if you're in a serious relationship. So, um, you know, my life has grown with Beacon Hill. I know Ash and Hannah can attest to this, too, in their own lives. But my boyfriend, who's now my husband, has gone to the party every year, gets to meet these amazing coworkers I talk about as soon as I get home from work. So um, that's also a really special thing that we do. But I'd love to actually get Ashley and Hannah's perspective here. Uh, can you each share, you know, what is your favorite holiday party, like something from the holiday party that really stands out as your favorite? We'll start with you, Ashley. All right. Awesome. I mean, there's so many things. Like, how can you narrow down? Um, I think for me, some of my favorite parts, definitely Andy's poem. So Andy creates this incredible poem that rhymes. He makes one every year when he first started well, when the Beacon Hill first started doing their holiday party, actually included everyone's name at the company in the poem. Now we're over a thousand employees. <laughs> so you can imagine That'd be a long poem if he gets to me. <laughs> oh, good. but they're so fun. They're so creative, and I look forward to it every single year. So I cannot wait for that. Um, and another highlight for me is really watching all the incredible highlight videos that get shown um, of different accolades from our different divisions, from our company, and it's so so exciting to see the success of the entire year and really get to celebrate it all together. I always like, it's such a surreal moment for me. I remember when I'm always sitting there with our whole company, listening to Andy Wang, watching these videos. I'm like, I can't believe I work here. How incredible <laughs> is this? And like, what an amazing year we had too. So those would be some of my favorite parts. Those are good ones. Those are really good ones. I forgot about the poem. Like that, it, his poem is always just, it always <laughs> gets me emotional. You're kind of laughing because it's got humor in it, but we'll see what he has in store this year. Hannah, what about you? What's one of your favorite parts of the holiday party? Oh, man. I mean, similar to Ash, it's, it's hard to really pinpoint it. But I think honestly, even just big picture, the fact that we are a company of now 1100 internal employees. I mean, for all of us to be together and to see like your name pretty much up in lights, if you're recognized as a top performer, I think being in that environment where everyone is like, celebrating success, whether it's like a smaller success of like, I just want to raffle, that's so exciting, or our rookie club, our top our president's club our hall of famers i mean it is all happening all together it really is i think the the camaraderie that you the energy you feel in that room is so awesome so i think honestly just being all together so i mean we're coming back bigger than ever since we've done this the last time in 2019 being in person the last two years obviously virtual have been awesome but i think there's something to be said of like being in the midst of the boston convention center and feeling that energy feeling that excitement getting to see people that maybe you've only emailed and only seen their, <laughs> their directory or on linkedin um but it's so cool to run into everyone and to be able to be all there together together celebrating and it's the holidays everyone's happy everyone's festive so it's just so much fun seeing people across different divisions. I love that. And I love that you mentioned, because I'm picturing your name on the stage when you hit Rookie Club. What was that like? Yeah. So for those of you watching, Ash is going to go through the traditions in a minute. But when you do win an accolade, and both of them have, uh, with President's Club and all of that, you get to go on stage. What was that like, Hannah, when you, your first one, which would have been Rookie Club, when you walked across? Yeah. Oh my God. Well, my first thought was, okay, I have to make it from one side of the ballroom to the stage without tripping and then go across the stage. So I was like, thank God I chose today. Um, but <laughs> no, well, your name is lights. It's across the screen. Everyone is cheering and clapping. It's so exciting um, to be recognized, I think, at that kind of scale. And then to yeah. um, walk stage when everyone is cheering it, it feels amazing so it's a huge huge motivator to hit a lot of these accolades 
I love it. Yep, I can totally relate to that. So going off that, maybe if each of you could share, like, each of you a favorite memory. I know we've been ourselves now. Um, and for those who are joining or will watch this later that haven't been or excited to go for the first time, like, maybe share, like, a favorite memory of yours from years past. I'll go first. Um, this is so funny. Because one, one of the holiday parties for the raffles, they did something new where they're like, okay, everyone look under your chair. And if there's an envelope under there, like you want a raffle, I'm like, there's no, I won. Okay. Right. So I'm like reaching under, I feel something I'm like you, you're kidding. I open it up. Haley's sitting next to me. I vividly remember. And I opened up, I had a thousand dollar Apple gift card. I'm screaming. I, there's an actual photo of Haley took of me because I was like, Oh, crazy. Um, I was like, I never win anything. So that was awesome. So good luck to everyone. Hopefully you win an awesome round of prize. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that later too. But like, that was such a fun memory for me. And then similar to what you were saying about, you know, achieving rookie club and walking across the stage for that the first time and even achieving president's club for the first time, seeing your name in lights, walking across the stage, getting your photo taken. Like that always is a, a, an, an amazing, exciting memory um, that I have too. And I mean, there's so many, but those are like some of the big fun ones. Hannah, what about you? <laughs> those are good. Collaborate <laughs> my rookie club experience. So technically, I mean, yes, I've been here for five years, but I've only been to a, two in-person holiday parties. So this will be my third. And the second one that I went to was me walking across the stage for the first time. So technically, I've only done the walk once. So hopefully not going <laughs> to. But um, I think that one was just so special because I had worked so, so hard to get there. Um, it was really awesome to be able to see that the first time. And they do have the bottles of Dom at the end. I will share a description too because I had taken a photo with the bottle and I was like, yeah, this is so great. And then like, the night they uploaded some of those photos onto the big screen and there is a giant photo of my face onto the ah. entire show of the entire party which was hilarious so um really cool i mean honestly just to be surrounded by some of the top leaders of our company who said wow i saw you walk across the stage that was so awesome definitely uh, a really great um memory that i have and excited to do it again and I remember both those memories. I remember <laughs> Ashley winning the iPhone because I thought she was going to faint. <laughs> and I didn't catch it live. I have to find the photo. You were like right in the middle of a bite of food. And you're like, oh, wait, there's something underneath. It was chaotic, yeah. It was chaotic. It was amazing. And Anna, I remember that photo. So. <laughs> Good times. Good times. Um, I can't wait to see what memories we'll get this year. I think one of my favorite memories, um, it's probably more continual from the holiday parties I've been to, is the day after the holiday party, which I know seems crazy because most people probably expect the holiday party is a one-day event. But Beacon Hill tends to spoil us. Hashtag Beacon Hill spoiled. We do a second day of celebrations where they rent out restaurants or pubs in a walking distance close together right by headquarters where we get another full day of festivities where we wear usually ugly Christmas sweaters if people would like to but it's also a continuation of networking seeing each other Beacon Hill is so generous and opens the tab at all of those bars and restaurants for us from like five hours to go see each other and talk about the night before. So I think that's one of my favorites because, you know, you get to bounce around. And uh, I know this year there's going to be DJs at some of these. So, you know, they're going all out as they always do. So moving on to maybe some of like the history of the holiday party, Hannah, uh, maybe like examples of raffles. We keep talking about them, share some examples that those have been um, and some other things from the holiday party in the past. Yeah, absolutely. I think the coolest thing is that majority of these raffles, like you cannot just walk out with, for example, <laughs> um, That's true. Um, if you won a Peloton, you're obviously not like picking up your Peloton that day, but it does get shipped to you afterwards, which is so awesome. Um, so Peloton treadmills, Peloton bikes, I mean, those have been some big ones. I think they've done full lug luggage sets that are like nice luggage. Those are really cool. Um, all the things that I was jealous that I have yet to win, but hopefully will win uh, at some point. But I mean, Ash mentioned this, the iPhone, Apple gift cards. Um, I think someone actually won like a, a MacBook, I think at one year, yeah. um, appliances. If you're an influencer world, like Nugget Ice Machines, I have a feeling I'm going to see one of those this year just because everyone oh, that's... has one. And <laughs> I'm, um, but we'll see. Uh, I think the coolest one, though, is definitely the shopping spree. So we oh, have this yes. 
that for someone who does win the shopping spree, if your name gets pulled for this, like you better start planning, you better get ready because the day after you actually are going over to the Prudential Center to Boylston, Newbury Street, that area, and you have a specific timeline. You, you only have, I, I forget time, but maybe two hours or so and to get whatever it is that you know you want you have two hours you got to run through you got to get it done and it is amazing to see what people come back with um but i think that's probably the coolest one i almost don't want to win that because it's like i'm stressed i don't even know how to start planning <laughs> you're stressed with so much goodness <laughs> the good stress of all the things that i would want to get but i think those are some of the highlights um some of the other like giveaways i would say uh, we always do like a Beacon Hill swag gift. So we've done like yep. gloves or, or something that's Beacon Hill branded in the past that every internal employee does walk away with some sort of prize, some sort of little gift. So that's always great. Uh, but the big, big ticket items are, are pretty awesome too. Um, I think one of the other really cool traditions that I'll just mention from like the virtual side of it was actually when we did the raffles um, from a virtual landscape. Anyone who yep. actually won a match that dollar amount to actually donate that same dollar amount to its local charity of that raffle winner's choice. So if you want a Peloton treadmill, whatever Peloton costs, that was getting donated to your local charity of choice, which I thought was really cool. Um, so I'm sure, you know, we'll have some sort of philanthropy or giveaway heading this year too, but just some things that we've done in the past. I forgot about that. That's so special. I think it was like over what, 40, $40,000 that we ended up donating, which is really special. So yeah. yes, giving back while giving to the employees, it was pretty special for sure. Thank you for sharing those, Hannah. Um, I know when we're at the holiday party, right, we keep talking about winning these awards, walking on stage. Maybe I can have each of you highlight what those are, you know, um, for anyone on the call that might be looking to join Beacon Hill and wants to have that opportunity in the future. Um, Ash, will you highlight, you know, Top of the Hill and President's Club, and then maybe Hannah will have you cover Rookie Club and Hall of Fame. Yes, yes. awesome. So um, Top of the Hill is our $1,000 shopping spree, which is super fun. So usually um, at the beginning of each January, you and whoever hit it in your local office, we get like a party bus, we go out, we have fun, we shop, we usually go to a restaurant, you know, for um, some food and drinks and apps. And it's such a great, you know, fun time celebrating with your local office um, and your coworkers as well. And then our President's Club is our all paid trip to the Breakers in West Palm Beach. And that's usually every spring all-inclusive paid trip you can bring a plus one it's amazing it's so fun um we can't wait for that this year so basically for top of the hill for president's club you have to indiv individually produce a specific amount of uh activity um so it's based off of your personal performance within the calendar year so you achieve that you get to do these amazing things but then your all your name also gets blown up in lights as we said you know at the holiday party on the big screen you get to walk across stage and for each of these recognitions you will also be individually sent um bottles of dom champagne so if you hit both of those you get two bottles of dom champagne which okay we love that so <laughs> yes <laughs> i know it's just the, the things keep Fortune. coming you walk on the stage yourself and you get home I'm like, oh my gosh, there's Dom Perignon in my house. <laughs> like, yeah. Even though it doesn't yeah. stop the celebrations. Um, yeah. Thank you for covering those. Hannah, want to talk a little bit about Rookie Club and then Hall of Fame? Yeah, absolutely. So Rookie Club is really special because it is the one milestone achievement, accolade, whatever you might want to call it, that you have one chance to be able to hit during your tenure at Beacon Hill. So the qualifications basically are that you are a top performer on your given team in your given role, but within your one year actually working at Beacon Hill. So you have the eligibility from your start date through your one year anniversary to actually be able to accomplish this. So if you are recognized as that top performer, obviously like celebration number one you get to walk across the stage which is super fun but that same um following spring so similar time frame as when top of the hill and president's club happened we invite all of our rookies back to home base in boston we put you up in a hotel one of the really nice hotels actually that used to be the old jail in boston uh, which is really historic <laughs> it's so great um, yeah well and we do an entire sort of like 72 hours of Boston-based activities. So um, we do a full-on five-hour dining experience with our CEO and our Boston leadership team. We do um, a duck tour around the city. So whether you're from here, whether you're not from here, it's very historic, very fun. I'll be a tourist in your own city, if you will. Um, but we've also done, oh, going to a sporting event. So whatever is kind of going on that time. 
that is sort of, you know, qualifying and actually getting to celebrate directly for Rookie Club, which is super fun. Um, and then Hall of Fame, I mean, that's like you've, you've peaked and you have <laughs> got to the highest uh, point of your career, if you can tell. I mean, this is not an easy feat whatsoever. You have to definitely be a consistent top performer every single year um, in, our, in order to really qualify and be inducted into our Hall of Fame. But one of the really cool things with the holiday party is that anyone who is actually getting to Hall of Fame, which I think Ashley's going to talk about um, in a second, we have up like their face, name and lights once again, but people actually give testimonies um, and we get to watch those videos about who's being inducted that year. So it's really cool. I cry every time. It's like the <laughs> words that people, like it's so special to hear, you know, people that win this incredible award and then, you know, the stories of people that work with them directly and how they've impacted their careers and watch them grow. It's, it's really special. So I, I, I too love the videos, uh, which leads us to Ash to talk a little bit more about the traditions of the holiday party. Cause there's lots. Oh, um, so if you want to just start rattling off some Ash, take it away. Yes. I know we've talked about BH spoiled, hashtag BH spoiled, right? You're like, okay, well, what could that mean? Right? Maybe you've picked up on a couple different things. Um, but I mean, Beacon Hill goes above and beyond in taking care of us and spoiling us too, which is so fun. So they pay for ourselves and our plus ones to fly us out to Boston, put us up in a hotel, um, you know, food and drink are included during the holiday party. And it's insane. We have a cocktail hour, we have a full um, served dinner. And then I think this holiday party is going until 1am, which I'm like, okay. I know, I heard that. I was like, oh, this is like an actual party. <laughs> um, so we're gonna have super fun uh, time there. And then even yeah, like you were saying before, it doesn't even stop there. The next day, I think this year we have I think four different venues booked yep. out. We have DJs, we have food, drinks, you can mix and mingle with other offices and your team and it just keeps the celebrations rolling. And that's also an insanely fun, awesome day too. A lot of people will extend their time in Boston you know, explored such an amazing time being there during the holiday season as well. So we have so, so much fun with that. I know we've talked about Dom Perignon, um, some amazing champagne. Um, we actually, fun fact, we are giving out 1,067 bottles of Dom. That's this so year. Um, instant. Okay, we love it, right? So <laughs> We have that fun fact. Um, and then again, like the other um, traditions too, we've talked about walking across the stage. We've talked about our hall of fame videos, um, our insane raffles. Another fun fact. We, I think our raffles are totaling $80,000 this year. Um, what? I cannot wait to see these. Maybe there will be a nugget ice machine. I've got some good vibes for you. <laughs> um, and then there is a top team award that goes out every year as well. There's an enormous blue champagne bottle um, that they send out. And that is kept at the top office for the entirety of the year. And every year they talk about the top office performer and top team. Um, and then they get to keep that bottle, which is really fun. Um, and I know we talked about our giveaways during our Friday pub crawls and the beanies and the uh, hats and the scarves. Right now, I think I have a whole set. I'm like, okay, I'm ready. They are giving away something else. We don't know what it is yet. So we'll see what that looks like. Uh, we do ugly Christmas sweaters, you know, as we're all sporting today, um, if you'd like on the on the Friday pub crawl too. So, so many fun traditions. Yeah. I am so excited that's finally back in person this year. It's, as we've talked about, the virtual party was absolutely insane. Amazing. The events team are absolutely incredible, but nothing like being all together during the season and celebrating here too. So I can't wait. And it's next week. I can't believe it. <laughs> I know. I know. I feel like the countdown begins like January 1st every year for the holiday party. And next week we'll be here all together, which I can't wait. Uh, so some fun facts for 2022. The incredible events team, you know, for some little little spoilers. Um, apparently, there's something like called a 360 photo booth. I don't even know what that means, I but it wait. just sounds amazing. Um, there's always photographers. I remember feeling like this is what it feels like to be at the Grammys because they were like snapping as we're coming up the escalator. <laughs> I was like, all right, this is pretty cool. So I know, you know, they're gonna probably do all of that over again. Um, but this year, there's 2,100 attendees. I mean. I just, I don't even understand how they can put on an event of that magnitude. It's so impressive. Events team, again, so many kudos. Are, we are so grateful for you and what you're able to accomplish for this company. Um, what's also kind of crazy is 450 employees have never attended the holiday gala that have been with us for, you know, over a year. So it's pretty special that a lot of those people that, you know, we hired during COVID or even this year, um, over the past couple of years that 
haven't actually been to one. So that will be really fun. A lot of first timers. Uh, for the events team, again, more shout outs to them. It takes three days to set up for this. Three days to set up that conference center. Um, this is the third time that we're actually going to be held at the convention center. Um, and again, those last two holiday galas were virtual. Um, as of today, which this could change because people hit milestones every week, there's 306 President's Club uh, winners, award nominees that will go on stage and get recognized. Then we have 384 Top of the Hill winners. And for Rookie Club, drum roll, because a lot of these are people that we've hired, 52. <laughs> I heard that and I thought it was a typo. <laughs> that was supposed to be 25. That is insane. So to all the rookie qualifiers, congratulations as well. Um, I know it started out as very small and it's grown. I mean, some years were 10 and 12 and then 30. Um, Hannah and Ash, do you remember how many were in your groups when you won? There was like maybe. four of us. Oh, four. Yeah. Ash, four. I would say maybe like an 18 around there. Yeah, maybe. That's insane. How crazy oh my God. And now there's 52. So. Yeah. So special to see all of them, you know, go upstage and feel, you know, the award and the recognition for, you know, such an incredible year. And then one last fact is we have over 1,200 hotel rooms booked wow. <laughs> across two hotels. So again, it's really fun because you go in the lobby for a cup of coffee and bump into one of the managing directors or one of our hires, someone we've hired for Beacon Hill. So really special to all be together. We obviously are very excited. Uh, I know we're getting to a close here and I promised a raffle. So to wrap up, get your fingers ready to type. Um, Hannah, you want to take it away? All right. First question for everyone who's ready, ready to type. The question is, how many bottles of Dom are we awarding to our top performers at the holiday party this year? We're looking for a number. And then the first one to put the number, the correct number in, we'll get a $25 gift card to Amazon. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got a winner. Woohoo! Amanda Modi, if I'm saying that right. Yeah. Okay. We've got that. We have our um, smart marketing team watching. But Amanda, since you were the first one, if you can DM Beacon Hill Staffing Group after this with your email, we will email you your gift card. Congratulations. Nicely done. And a lot of you it's ended good. up getting the answer. So good job. <laughs> Perfect. All right, second question is, which Beacon Hill Award can you only qualify during your first year at Beacon Hill? And we're looking for what the award is called. All right. Woohoo, right. yay, Amanda. <laughs> Hey, Anda, <laughs> All right, so will you also congratulations email or DM Beacon Hill with your email address so we make sure to get to you your $25 gift card. Thank you to those. I see the responses coming in. Great job. Thank you for listening. Again, thank you for joining this Instagram Live. We'll have another one come January. Thank you, Ashley and Hannah, for sharing their stories. Again, can't wait to see you both and any of the Beacon Hillers on today's Live, can't wait to see you next week. Happy holidays. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. Bye, everyone.